setting up a computer network. Welcome to my video. I'm your school ICT boy, and I'll be presenting the lesson today. Before we begin, list down the names of your classmates and classify them according to the criteria. Write answers on your notebook. Classifying your friends is a form of making a network of friends. It is like classifying the computer network according to use and size in order to understand them. Ping is a DOS command used to test the ability of the source computer to reach a specific computer. IP address is a number that is used to identify the device on the network, while the URL is the address over the internet. Map or media access control address is a sign to the host and known as the physical address, while IP config is a DOS command to find out the IP address of a certain network. Computer network is any collection of computers that communicate with one another over a shared platform. There are two types of network configuration, the static configuration, which the network administrator gives the IP address, while the dynamic configuration, the DHCP, will give the IP address. There are some common network devices, the router, the switch, the network interface cards, the repeater, and UTP cable or untwisted pair cable. Here are the types of computer networks according to size. We have the personal area network, the local area network, which has the wired and the wireless. We have also the campus area network, the metropolitan area network, wide area network, and the internetwork, which has the extranet and the intranet. Here are the types of computer networks according to use. The storage area network, the system area network, the passive optical local area network, the enterprise private network, and the virtual private network. Categories of computer networks The peer to peer network, which is common in any computer laboratory, and the client server network, which has a server as a main host of the information. The network topology is the arrangement of all the peripherals on the computers. It defines how the computers within the network are arranged and connected with each other. Here are the types or kinds of network topologies. We have the star, the mesh, the line, the bus, the tree, the ring, and the hybrid. Don't forget to like, to share, and also to subscribe and hit the bell button. 
Now we're going to talk about how to check and change the network configuration. Right click the internet settings, click on network and internet settings, then click on Ethernet. Then go to Network and Sharing Center. Then go to Network Adapter Settings. You will see the different connections available to your computer. Now we're going to change the static and dynamic configuration. Click on the connection. Then click on Properties, then choose IPv4, then Properties. If the configuration is obtained, therefore it is on a dynamic configuration. If there are values on the IP address, it means it is on static. So we're going to make a static connection. Take note that the third number should drive with the third number on the router or modem. The subnet mask, you need not to change the value. Now, the, date, the default date weight will be the value of your router or your modem. The same as the DNS server. After that, just click on OK, then click on Close, then Close. We're going to change it into Dynamic. Just open again the Properties, IPv4, Properties, then click on Obtain, and Obtain. Then OK, Close, and Close. Now, to check the IP address of your modem, go to Command, Prompt, then type IPConfig. The default gateway will show you the IP address of your modem or your router. This would be copied. You need to copy that one and you need to open it on a browser. Type in the value of your IP address. Then click on Okay. okay, then click on enter. You need to log in the username and password of your modem or router to change the settings. This will be discussed on the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.